Well, good day, folks. Welcome back to MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're talking about what to do or one of the things you can do when you've got deer at your spots, you're getting pictures of a of nice deer at your spots, but they're only at nighttime. So you've got a bunch of nocturnal um, deer at your spot, or you've got one decent buck at your spot or good buck at your spot, but he's pretty much only there at night. So in this video, I'm gonna give you um, one suggestion, one thing that I do that really helps with getting those bucks uh, getting looks at those bucks that are only at your spots at night, getting looks at them during the daytime. So listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wildman channel, we sure would appreciate it. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like the content uh, that we post, go ahead and hit that bell. You'll get uh, notified when we upload new stuff. So here we go. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of a pretty decent buck here in New Brunswick. He's not great, uh, but he's not too bad. He's a nice wide. I think he's going to be a seven. Um, it's a nice wide seven point that I've got on camera here. And so here he is right here. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you two or three pictures here of him, but he's only in this spot at nighttime, right? So he's never there during the day. I got all nighttime photos. Now, this for me, um, depending on the amount of time I get to hunt this year, uh, this might be a shooter buck for me, right? So I'm more, uh, I'm more about meat than I am about big racks, but I do like to take a nice mature buck if I can. Um, and this is not a young buck, right? So. He's not too bad, he's nice and wide, uh, not a lot of points, but that doesn't matter to me, can't eat the points. And uh, so anyway, the problem with this spot is where I've got this camera, it's a pretty decent setup, nice, easy hunt, um, good spot, kind of a little hidden oasis. Problem is he's only there at nighttime, so what do I do? How do I get him out during the daytime? Well, to get him out during the daytime, I actually probably I'm not gonna have a whole lot of luck with that until later on into the rut, way into the rut, you might get him out with some Tink 69 or, or a, you know, some doe in the area or whatever. Um, but what I like to do, uh, this is the, you know, this is one of the things that I like to do. If I've got a decent buck, might be a shooter buck in an area that I wanna hunt, but he's only there at nighttime. So what I do, I am currently setting up a new spot. So I don't know if I've got some stuff on the ground here, my secret mix that I make up. If you haven't seen where I, uh, it's not really a secret because I've got a video on it, but if you haven't seen my own my homemade deer cane video, it's on the channel, you can check it out. And you can see like right back there uh, is a nice shooting lane. I've got about 120 yards, 130 yards um, back that way. I gotta do a little tiny bit of clearing out, but not too bad. And here's a new spot for me, and I'm gonna put a camera right over there. Now this spot is about, I would say as the crow flies, this is about a half a kilometer. Yeah, no, it's probably close to a thousand yards um, from where I just showed you those pictures of that buck. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like a thousand yards or, or eight or 900 yards or a pretty good distance um, on both sides of where I've got those pictures of that buck. And I'm gonna set up two spots. Now that's a lot of material. It's a lot of stuff to set up. Um, but what that does is that will tell you um, where that buck is earlier or later in the day. So here's my theory, and you know, leave it in, uh, you know, put something in the comments down below if you, if you don't agree. I know this is interesting. It is so buggy out today, holy moly. Um, lots of mosquitoes and lots of dog flies here in New Brunswick right now. It's like the middle of July. Um, so here's my theory. A lot of times when you're getting bucks at nighttime and you're only getting nighttime pictures, it's because they're already left their bedding area and they're headed to their feeding area at night, but they're, there are quite a little ways away from their bedding area. So typically bucks will get up early evening and then they'll head to where they're gonna spend, you know, whatever time eating and feeding and all that stuff. And then they'll head back to their bedding spots, you know, in those early morning hours. And that's typically when you, as a hunter, when you wanna catch them kind of like, like before or after um, those times. So if you're getting only nighttime pictures of bucks, there's a pretty good chance that your spot where you've got it set up is too far from their bedding area. It's too far from where they're spending their time. Now in New Brunswick, I know like a lot of you're gonna go, oh, let's go find the bedding area. Yeah. So in New Brunswick, that's pretty tough. So where I am, uh, mostly all, this is all public ground that we're on here. Um, so anybody and their dog can drive their wheelers through here. Like, like the bucks tend to uh, be like top secret as far as where they bed. And there's not big areas where a whole whack of deer bed that you can find easily, um, unless you've got your own piece of ground that you manage. So out here on public land, it's for me, it's a little easier to move my spots and set up a couple of different areas to try to figure out if I'm closer or farther away. So, I mean, again, eight, 900 yards, a kilometer, whatever that might be, um, away from my spot. I'm still within the travel range of that buck, right? So you can set up a camera, like I've got the nighttime pictures of them. Now I'm here, right? And I'm kind of farther into the, into the road or kind of, kind of down the road. Uh, 
about a kilometer from where that spot is. And I'm gonna go on the other side, the same distance. I'm gonna set up another spot. So it's three cameras, um, but again, it's, you know, whatever. Um, for me, that's what I like to do. I'm trying to figure out where that buck is earlier and later in the day. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up a spot and it's gonna be, you know, some distance from the other spot, but still within that buck's travel range. And what that'll help you to do is it'll help you to determine where that buck is, you know, early evening or early morning. Now, if I'm starting get, if I start getting pictures of that buck in here in the early evening or in shooting time in daylight hours, it's a pretty simple stretch. I don't need to get him in that other spot during daylight hours. I can abandon that spot. I can leave it. I can come up here and I can hunt this spot, right? So just depending on where I can get that buck. Now, if I set up all three of these spots, and I only still have that buck at nighttime, then he might be a nighttime buck. He might be a nocturnal buck. Uh, in which case I'm gonna have to wait till the rut and I'm gonna have to find a way to get him out with some dough, right? Or, or get him chasing or whatever. Um, but this is a really good tip. If you've got that spot and you're like, man, I can only get nighttime pictures of that deer, go a ways away, five, six, 700 yards, whatever you want, find, it, find another decent setup. Um, get some stuff out and see if you can get them there earlier or later in the day or, or closer to those daylight hours. What you might actually do is you might be moving your spot closer to his bedding range and, and that way you're going to be able to get him uh, during those shooting hours, during those daylight hours, right? So not, not rocket science, not super complicated, um, but just one of the ways that I can, wow, it's buggy. Uh, one of the ways that I use to try to get deer out in those daylight hours um, before you know, like, like during that shooting time, if I'm only getting nighttime pictures of deer. Now, if you've got a camera set up and you're getting daytime and nighttime pictures of deer, uh, then it just, he's roaming through that area all the time, then I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, but this is just for areas where you're only getting nighttime pictures. Like this seven point that I've got on camera, he's only there during the nighttime. I've got no daylight pictures of him at all. So this is my, you know, this is what I'm gonna do to see if I can get a little closer to his home range and find him during those shooting hours. Anyway, listen, hope this is something that can help you out. And uh, just a quick tip, just something real quick, showing you what I'm doing. Um, come back next week, uh, two weeks, I guess, maybe come back in a couple of weeks to the channel and I'll have uh, the results of this video. I'll see if we got him um, on, you know, on camera in the daylight uh, on either one of these other two spots I'm setting up. So until next time, happy hunting from the NB Wildman channel.